Kumede here since we have a problem for our homework. I'm running a little late on time. Units of production meta here is a second type of meta. Usually it's used for machines for vehicles. Anything that you can find a unit to based on. So earlier, straight line meta is typically used for the furniture, cabins, desks. They're really, it's pretty hard to tie how you have been using that with the revenue that you gained. So we just spread it evenly, evenly along the years. For units of production, if the type of machinery vehicles, you can actually estimate how you have been using it by tracking the miles that has been driven, by tracking the number of hours the machine has been working on a daily basis. And oftentimes, uni units of production method would suit those type of assets depreciation best. So how does this method work? If we use the same example here, assuming the truck costs $41,000, residual value is $1,000, leftover value is the same number, we expect that this truck, in total, they can be used for um, 100,000 miles. It can be driven by 100,000 miles. Okay, so in this case here, we want to find a unit depreciable cost for each mile. So each and every problem will tell you what is the total capacity of that machine, or total capacity of a certain vehicle. What you need to do is, again, find a depreciable cost divided by the total capacity, figure out a unit depreciable cost first, and then just use this unit cost times whatever miles has been used in this season, or whatever machine hours has been used in this season. So this part will stay the same, as long as you calculate it once. Again, the depreciable cost, and then divided by the total capacity. So this could be the total number of machine hours that the um, equipment can be used, the total miles the vehicle can be used. Then you figure out per mile what's the depreciable cost, or per hour what's the depreciable cost, and then use the cost times the number of hours that has been used in this year, or the number of the miles that has been used for a certain vehicle. That will be the depreciable expense the depreciation expense for that season. Okay, if we look at the table here, this is how it works. Again, left side is the asset cost, right side is the book value. Middle part here you see depreci depreciation per unit. Earlier we calculated this 24, right? So if the first year we use 20,000 machine hours, or the vehicle has been driven for 20,000 miles, then we use that unit times 20,000. Next year, assuming it's 30,000, then you times 30,000. So this middle part here depends on the problem. So it could be changing. If the problem tells you it's 10,000, use 10,000. Calculate the depreciation expense for each and every year. So this depreciation expense is no longer even across the years. It depends on how the vehicle, the machine has been used. If you use it more, like this case, compared to the first year, you depreciate more. If you use it less, like this year, compared to the first year, then you depreciate less. We basically assume the more we use an asset, the more, it's, the more it wear and tear, the more depreciation will be listed. At the end, you see the residual value here, 1,000. This basically tells you that at the end, after depreciation, we still have this leftover value because earlier, when we calculated the point four, we subtracted it up front. Okay, now journal entry is the same. Whenever you get this each and every year's depreciation, you'll be debiting depreciation expense, crediting accumulated depreciation. So the first year will be 8,000, second year will be 12,000, third year 10,000, 6,000. with you next Monday.